Join me as I take on the challenge of designing a roof from scratch, designed specifically for beginners. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast, a beginner builder, or just curious about the basics of roof design, this video will break down everything you need to know in simple terms. Roof design can seem complicated, with complex terminology and challenging calculations. But today, we're going to simplify it so that you can confidently understand and tackle your own roof projects. Let's start with the key loads you need to consider when designing a roof. Understanding these loads is crucial to ensuring that your roof will be safe and functional. Dead load. This is the weight of the roof itself, including materials like the rafters, sheathing, and roofing. It's essentially the permanent weight that your roof needs to support. Live load. This includes temporary loads like snow, rain, or even people walking on the roof. If you're in an area that experiences heavy snowfall, you need to calculate how much weight it could add to the roof. Wind load. Wind can exert a lot of force on a roof, especially in storm-prone areas. You need to consider how your roof will stand up to high winds, especially if you're using certain roof types like a gable or a hip roof. Snow load. For areas with heavy snow, the snow load is critical. It's important to understand how much snow your roof will hold and how to design the slope to ensure that it sheds the snow properly. Seismic load. In areas prone to earthquakes, you'll need to factor in how your roof will handle seismic loads. This will affect the overall structural integrity and stability during a shake. Now that we understand the loads, let's talk about the roof framing and truss system. Two key elements in roof design. Roof framing is the framework that supports the roof structure. It includes the rafters, ridge beams, and purlins, and it plays a major role in carrying the loads we discussed earlier. For example, with a gable roof, you have sloped rafters that transfer weight from the ridge down to the walls. These rafters need to be spaced correctly to prevent sagging or failure. Proper sizing and spacing of your framing members are essential to ensure the roof is strong and stable. Now let's talk about trusses. A truss is a prefabricated triangular frame that can span large distances without the need for load-bearing walls. This makes them ideal for wide roofs like those on warehouses or homes with large open spaces. Trusses use a triangular shape to distribute loads efficiently, which allows them to support more weight over a larger area without the need for bulky beams. Next, let's take a look at the different types of roofs you can design, each with its advantages and challenges. Gable Roof The classic triangular roof. It sheds water and snow efficiently and is the most common choice for residential homes. Hip Roof A roof with slopes on all four sides providing extra stability in areas with high wind or heavy snow. Flat roof, often used in modern architecture. While it's sleek and minimalistic, it requires extra attention to drainage to prevent water accumulation. Each roof type has its unique features and selecting the right one depends on factors like climate, aesthetics, and the building's function. The materials you choose for your roof also play a huge role in its design. From asphalt shingles to metal roofing, each material has its benefits depending on your needs. Asphalt shingles are affordable, durable, and great for residential homes. Metal roofing is long-lasting, fire-resistant and works well in areas with heavy snow or rain. Tile or slate roofing is often used in Mediterranean or historic-style homes for its aesthetic appeal and durability, though it's heavier and may require a stronger frame. When choosing materials, consider things like climate, cost and how much weight your roof framing can handle. The key to roof design is balancing aesthetics with functionality. A roof doesn't just protect your home, it also adds to the overall aesthetic of the building. Whether you want a sleek, modern flat roof or a more traditional gable roof, it's important to choose a design that suits both your style and the functional needs of your home. A well-designed roof will not only provide safety and durability, but will also enhance the look of the entire building. Creativity can meet technical expertise when you find that perfect balance between form and function. So, whether you're building a home, a garage, or any structure with a roof, understanding these principles will help you design a safe, efficient, and beautiful roof. Roof design doesn't have to be overwhelming. With the right knowledge and approach, anyone can take on the challenge. Remember, roof design is a process that takes time, patience, and practice. But once you understand the fundamentals, loads, framing, trusses, roof types, and materials, you'll be well on your way to mastering it. If you found this video helpful, share your thoughts in the comments below let me know what type of roof you're planning for your next project.